Welcome Spartans to Mission Debrief. We're playing every mission of the mainline Halo video game series in chronological order and talking about our experiences with a little lore sprinkled in along the way. This episode we're debriefing the tip of the spear mission from Halo Reach. I'm your host Colin Perkins alongside David Arnold. Hello everybody. And Krista Brown. Discord is lame. Yes. <laughs> Last time we played Nightfall, where we did a bit of recon with our new pal, June, uh, and got familiar with the sweet, sweet Halo sniper rifle. Uh, We made some new wildlife, or we met some new wildlife along with the local militia and uncovered the Covenant's plan for invasion. The closing cutscene showed the scale of the Covenant force that we get to deal with on today's episode. Uh, The tip of the spear mission takes place... On the very next day, which is August 12th, 2552, which is on my 572nd birthday. Wow, you're old. I'm (laughs) real old in this mission. Uh, So we hop into a warthog and charge full on into battle. After we crash, we team up with Cat to take out an AA gun, clear out a mining facility where a high-profile elite zealot is hiding, and then take out another AA gun. We then hop into a Falcon with with George to disable a spire that's being used to, tra- to teleport Covenant troops and supplies onto the planet. We make a quick we, we make quick work of the spire's defenses, which is then destroyed by the UNSC ship Grafton. Upon exiting the mission, the Grafton gets taken out by the Covenant supercarrier Long Night of Solace, which is Boo. our next mission. Yay! <laughs> Best mission. Got that. Um, <laughs> so why don't we read a couple of the communities that we just got a little bit of feedback from this mission. So we'll do some Facebooks, and then we'll do a little Twitter, and then we'll get into it. David, what do you got? I got two for you, essentially. Um, the first is from our lovely friend, well, Alessandro Keith Console was looking, asking about Nightfall. He didn't cop. But didn't leave anything specific about... Um, Tip of the spear. Uh, Jed Heckes said, The beginning of the mission always confuses me. I feel like there has, to, there has to have been a better battle plan than drive 60 warhogs across an open field towards an enemy who has them outgunned. I didn't know you think you've been playing too much Halo Wars. Uh, I kind of agree. It's a bit it's a bit weird. It's a cool intro video. I do like it. But it does feel weird that they're just going full tilt against something mm-hmm. that they don't really know. And I feel that when Cat actually blows the sphere the the pylon it reveals all these kind of chips and banshees and ghosts streaming straight towards you i don't know just seems a bit weird i mean we're not really aware of the extended battle plan Mm -hmm. um and maybe that was just like a a screen for whatever you were trying to do with kath and um i feel like there was probably supposed to be more troops with you than there actually was in the end when the bridge got destroyed Mm -hmm. and all those other warhogs kind of got blown up i don't know Again, we don't really know what they were trying to achieve here. Exactly. Uh, but I, I agree. I've never really... I just thought it was a cool intro. I never really considered the tactical in- implications of what the hell they were trying to achieve. So, good catch, Jed. Um, Matthew Lunt left the single largest post I've ever seen <laughs> as a reply. Um, it it can be boiled down into... Matt doesn't like this mission. <laughs> but... um. <laughs> He has a bunch of comments made on comparisons to dismissions to games that were out at the same time. Um, he didn't like certain things um, that the mission did in terms of it, it was very generic. Go here, shoot, go here, shoot, go. But FPSs, I think, are kind of always like that. Um, the lore-wise, it's not really, not a lot of implications. I, I agree, there isn't really a lot happening. Um, specifically, uh, you just have one objective you're trying to achieve. Um, destroy the AA guns and pretty much take down the spire at the end he didn't really like the mission that uh the portion of the mission where you're kind of on rails shooting on the grenade launcher i actually really did like that i thought it was short um short and sweet um it was something that halo hasn't done before mm-hmm. which i kind of felt it, it felt a little bit out of place because of that but uh, i did actually like it. and i did like it when you were playing co-op you can both get in either sides and you have different things to shoot at and see one side is definitely more heavily populated than the other um but i, I did find that kind of slightly interesting um he again comments about like you know the rocket hog is is actually pretty cool um 
and the actual mission is conveyed a battle much like a skirmish i agree there is a much larger battle going on in the background which i think is cool but you don't ever really feel like you're taking part in it you're just pretty much taking out the aa guns a little bit and then that brings in the actual allows the ships mm-hmm. can't remember if they're named at all to come in um they're more like they're they're what class are they like an amber clad right. i can't remember what class of ship they are but um corvettes maybe they're quite small and obviously you can, can fly in in ammo um it's yeah he compares again to a lot of games it's pretty middle road in terms of how what the mission does and uh, very late location yes mac rounds i agree what he's saying about the mac they they build up mac firing an atmosphere has been a big th- a big deal things that are really done it's gonna be kind of crazy and then when the mac round goes off it's kind of just a little slight rocking of right. the falcon and nothing much else okay okay i, I didn't really consider that at the time but he's right uh, you know you're feeling like you're gonna get knocked out of the sky and you're not mm-hmm. um so he refers to Chekhov's gun which is like a principle by Antov Chekhov of if there's something in a story that isn't relevant then it shouldn't be in there so don't say something that has no purpose essentially it should be removed it's like trimming the fat in terms of a script and mm-hmm. stuff like that so that's what that, well, that was Matt's point there was a lot in here that didn't need to happen Okay, and that's kind of it, really. Um, I know when I streamed the show, uh, I streamed this mission earlier today, uh, I got Nick Sipia, apologies, his um, shadow off is his gamer tag. He's uh, pretty active in our group, and he just had a couple of comments in the chat as I was streaming, saying that um, essentially this mission is pretty, pretty basic. There's not a whole lot going on. It's pretty kind of forgettable, in his opinion. And uh, there are certain awesome moments, and that's why I like it. Um, are the, are the set pieces in this mission, um, but I can see why people. I think Chris, you were saying the same. Some of this you kind of had forgotten, and there isn't really a lot of impact to it. And that's all I kind of got from there. What happened on the Twitter? Anything? Kind of not town. much on the Twitter. Um, Bad at Halo has been doing a lot of uh, no death streams. So if he dies, he starts from the beginning of the game, kind of an iron challenge. Ooh. Uh, he just said, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a mission where your no death run can end right at the start of the mission. Mm. I think that's referring to basically sometimes those elites already have those plasma cannons trained on you. And by the time you spawn... The warthog can flip and murder you instantly. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's always fun. He's not doing legendary no death runs, is he? Is he just doing? Uh, I'm not sure what difficulty Oof. he's playing on. I just know in general he's playing rough. no death runs. No, thank you on legendary. Hopefully it's just normal. Boo. Um. And he's his his name is bad at Halo, so I'm not sure why he's <laughs> challenging himself. Yes, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Back to the um, opening cutscene. I I felt like. It was one of those... The thing that I was missing was, like, a Braveheart moment where they're, like, building up, like, this big epic monologue. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, charge! And then they all just run and ram into the enemy. Um, that's kind of what that felt like because, yeah, what 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 tactic is that in the future where we just drive straight into the enemy? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. But to your point, I think maybe it was a distraction of some sort. I don't know. Um, but, you know... That's that's some military um, tactical stuff where you're sacrificing people to complete a, a small smaller objective, which is weird. But well, the territory was like cloaked because that's what all of Nightfall was about was about you finding this invasion force in a dark zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is all located in a dark zone. So they just charge head on, destroy the pylon before getting into the dark zone, and then going. I guess going and shoot stuff go in and do stuff let's go um what did you guys think i guess as you were progressing so i guess a lot of the feedback was that this mission isn't memorable i i remember playing this mission the first time um i think i had some difficulty i forget what level i was was probably playing on heroic or legendary but i had a couple different sticking points and maybe that's why this mission um was memorable but i do remember the um vehicle portions which i enjoyed i mean we gotta we Those gotta are, drive a yeah. revenant like, that's pretty memorable that was right? pretty fun yeah i really like you that you get to drive most of the major covenant vehicles you can drive a ghost you can drive a revenant you can drive a wraith and you can drive a banshee in this mission mm-hmm. well that's true oh where do you get the banshee um, do you have to 
at the very uh, end you can at, skyjack at it. At the spire, yeah, you yeah. can skyjack uh, it. Which I did. Get up to the spire with a banshee, which is what I always yeah. do. Yes, it's pretty cool. It's the only way to do it. Um, and then if you punch the wings off of it, you can go into the spire. Oh <laughs> yeah. And then just run everyone over. Nice. It's great. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, I do like yeah grabbing. I think the revenant is pretty is pretty cool. I, I was messing around with it today. I really enjoyed it. Um, the kind of mix between the ghost and wraith is really kind of cool. It's a cool vehicle that we never get to see again. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. I, I was thinking about that. You you likened it to a, a small wraith, and I I was like, it was it's a big ghost, but it's, it's like kind a big of, ghost. <laughs> it's like if they had a baby. It's like a mule, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, pretty if much. a wraith and a ghost had a baby. You get the revenant. It's pretty great. It's a beautiful baby. Mm-hmm. I know. It's pretty cool. I wish they would have more. Um, there's also kind of pretty cool weapons scattered throughout this game, uh, this level. Um, it introduces the grenade launcher, which I think only really serves a purpose at lower difficulties. I never liked uh, the grenade on- launcher. Do you guys like it? Uh, yeah. The grenade launcher is really, really good for getting in vehicles because if you hold down the button, it becomes an EMP blast. DMP. Oh. I- and it won't detonate until you get until you let it go. So you get it close to a vehicle... You run up to it, you detonate it, and then you hijack the vehicle. And that's what I do throughout the whole mission. That's how I get all my vehicles. It's, it's, it's good for that, but I think the plasma pistol overcharge is way better at doing that than trying to aim this grenade accurately, and then it bounces. And then when you have... I think when you hold it down, it doesn't stick, right? It just, just bounces. Uh, it goes on the ground, yeah. It goes on the ground, yeah. So I'm not sure what the EMP arc is like. I, I rarely use a secondary function, if, if I'm honest. Uh, of the grenade launcher but i tried to use it today and i was just like well it's kind of weak unless you're on like if you're on harder difficulties i don't think i ever use it um and i know they have it in halo 5 but i don't think i've used it yet i mean have I, you guys messed around with it in halo 5 uh i probably had it at one point on fiesta and then just threw it away <laughs> well that <laughs> says it all um, it also in this mission you have the plasma launcher, which is pretty dope. I really oh, like I it. I love that thing. Uh, I think it's a plasma caster in Halo Five, but it's more or less the same thing. Um, I really like it. The heavy. It's du- grenade launcher for plasma grenades. Yeah, is what it is. It's awesome, and like it tracks, and like they when you shoot it, they track enemies and lock on and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's that a thing's a bitch in multiplayer, though. I Holy believe shit. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was messing around with it today. Had great fun blowing up rates and hunters and all sorts of fun things with it. It's a pretty solid weapon. There was um, the focus rifle too. Did you guys find that? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, I I picked it up today okay. simply because I hate it, and I was like, I haven't used it in a very long time. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just pick it up and mess with it. I was like, oh is it yeah, still really bad. I yeah, still hate it. Throw it on the ground. Yeah, it's just a bad sniper. There's a constant stream of yeah. energy, and it takes way too long to kill anybody with it. Yeah, it's like mm, like nope. the like the binary rifles kind of like that. It's a stream of energy that you train on someone, but it kills them like faster. It kills them in a good amount of time where you don't have to keep the laser on them for too long. But this right. is like, I've been hitting this guy f- with a laser for about five minutes, <laughs> and he's still not dead, and I don't understand why. <laughs> just checking your watch. It's just a pretty bro. light show for him. <laughs> It's a massage in the face for him. Yeah. Um, what else here? I'm trying to think. Um, that that's about it for new guns. I think in the mission. Um, I th- the one thing that Halo does a lot is you do things more than once. So you take out an AA gun right away, and then you take out another AA gun, which was I guess a little disappointing. I don't know if that was just trying to stretch out the mission a little bit, but that that happens. I guess you're still just kind of. Roman, well, no, you lose your your vehicle when you go up the mine, don't you? You have to hop in another one. Yeah, that's right. Can I? Yeah, when you get to the nine mining facility, you have to drop your vehicle. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of that, um, when you rescue those people at the mining facility, one one name, uh, one of the guys was named uh, G Sarola. So yay! Oh, you had uh, him? Oh, I didn't see him yeah, today. Yeah, I had Gus Sarola from Rooster looking. Teeth. He that's plays cool. Simmons oh, nice. in Red versus Blue. Oh, nice. What did you guys get? I don't know if the elite zealot that you're supposed to take out is that in all levels yeah. or like what is that it one is. all about? Do yes. you guys pick up on it's, that? It, it's in this mission uh, specifically. It's like a little side mission. Cat yeah. just tells you like when, when you kill it. There's like one, two moments I think maybe that you can kill him. In in the middle of the mining facility, he spawns and he has a concussion rifle, and you can kind of shoot across at him. And if you kill him, Cat just goes, "Well done, 
um, secondary objective complete or high value target neutralized or something like that. And she says very I impressive. I wish she six. would drop a data pad or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing really else to that. Um, there's probably challenges I'm sure based around it. Um, uh, I don't remember any campaign challenges based around no? the elite zealot. There's definitely a, there's got to be an achievement, I'm sure. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, killing him on a Maybe certain difficulty is. or something I like that. I think the only achievement related to this mission, though, is to hijack a banshee and use that to take it to the spire instead of using the spire. Oh, is there an achievement for that? Cool. I think there is, yeah. I'm sure I've done that. The That Zilla is pretty pretty hard to take out. I, was, I had a, like a needle rifle at the time. I was pummeling him in the face, and he just was hopping around, and he took quite a bit what? of damage before I took him out. Yeah, you gotta you gotta EMP the uh, the, the shield guys. You got it, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're what right I it kind of works on lower difficulties. But what I've done is I always take the turret right beforehand and pull it off, and I just shoot him from a distance. Mm. It's pretty inaccurate, but if you hit him m- enough times, he'll drop his shields quick enough, and you just quickly change to a needle rifle or DMR, and you got him. Something that I noticed... They give you a lot of needle rifle ammo in this mission, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Something I noticed in this mission, maybe, I don't know why I didn't notice as much, but there's a lot of dead civilians strewn about. <laughs> yeah, there sure is. And it's a more more apparent that they've really, I mean, it's an invasion force and they're going out and they're, they're ruthless and they're just killing everybody. I found a lot of kind of piles of bodies in this mission. Um, Wait till you get to Exodus or whatever it's called. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> New Alexandria. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some cool... Other cool things. I do like the ending of the mission. I like. I didn't mind going and attacking the two different AA guns, and then getting the helicopter ride into the spire, and then attacking the spire. I liked the assault on the spire kind of moment. I like that kind of mm-hmm. that set piece was fun. I like that a lot. That's really the only moment that was really cemented in my mind from this mission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, I this mission felt big though. I mean, it's a really big like. You're not necessarily driving in circles like we've done before. You're you're going out and you're like it's a big, huge, spread out map where you have to drive a little ways to the next spot, and then you know you fly. You have this the whole flying se- sequence, and then you you know crash land and go to the spire. So it's a big, long experience. I, I didn't see what the part time was on it, but I'm sure you could spend quite a bit of time on this mission on Legendary. Definitely. I think it just didn't really have any implications to the plot other than giving you a reason to do the Long Night of Solace mission. Mm, mm-hmm. That's Which all this mission is. Is a was. great reason for a mission to exist, Chris Brown? I um, know, but like this is kind of it's 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 the disappointing like first act, and then Long Night of Solace is the awesome payoff. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is a bit disappointing because at the very end, this whole objective you feel like this whole mission you're trying to do is to take out this the spire, and they say it's it's a teleportation it's connected to something and george is like connected to what we don't know and obviously this is that the spire itself is how they kind of obviously beam troops to the surface we imagine as part of that structure um and then when you take it out with it kind of could with the graft and shoots it with the, with the mac which is kind of cool in in and of itself the mission is immediately turned from a positive to a negative when it gets wiped out mm-hmm. by this and i think that is an epic moment of like that is a great moment. The super carrier just plasma beams the fuck glasses the fucking grafting <laughs> and it's just destroyed. And you just It really gives you a scale of the Oh, it super so does. And then the camera just pans up huge. and you're like, holy shit. And you're kinda of thinking, how did they miss this? How did UNSC not know a, a super carrier was in atmosphere? Mm-hmm. And it's just like obviously the pylons and all were connected to this structure in terms of like covertly I don't know how the Covenant even set all this shit up, but I think we know at this stage several weeks have passed in terms of where the story started and where we are now. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's been about three or four weeks, I think, of combat, of fighting. So, they must have been... I don't know how they stealthed a super carrier into the atmosphere, but they did it. They did it. That's, I mean, that shows how far advanced they are. And we... True. You know, the, the humans, the UNSC, they're catching up. Um, and, you know, we catch up pretty quickly shortly after this. But but it just shows how how outmanned we are outgunned we are still at this at this stage of the game and at this stage of the game we know a lot about the covenant mm-hmm. we've been fighting them for decades mm-hmm. that's true that is true that's true we have been fighting for decades but nobody seems to know a lot about in in, in reach do you know what i mean they're like there's these pylons we don't know what they are 
there's another there's a big spire we think it's this do you know what I mean there is mm-hmm. a still a lot of unknown to that yeah you, I mean you I would think they would have gathered some of that intel or like maybe yeah. something like this happened before so it's like oh it's but another the, one of those pylons where, or the, the but then, spires right I, I want to say that even throughout the stories in the books they do make a large point that like the Covenant rarely commit ground forces a lot of the time unless they're after something specific and I know we, mm, we've we talked about Reach that what is on right. Reach do you know what I mean Reach is a valuable objective not just because it's a human centre of um, military importance but there's always that you know Forerunner data that's kicking around or yeah it's a good point because otherwise it'll just blast planet like why, why uh, yeah. even put a f- Put boots on the ground. We so, just I think I've answered my it. own question. <laughs> How does nobody know this? No, because well, they that probably pad, rarely do this from the beginning. Yeah. Of the, the, what mission was that? The second, the second mission. Where you? Or no, it was the first mission, right? Where you? Um, there's the With latch the key elite? discovery, right? Oh no, that's oh, the yeah. Yeah. that's the um, sword base mission. Yeah, right. But that's where you meet Halsey and you give her the data pad and there's something going on there. So I would imagine that all ties together, right? I mean, I'm forgetting. Yeah, yeah, true. We shall true. see when we play more missions. <laughs> 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 um, what else? So the drones. We get to see some drones. Some Yan Mi'i, I think is how you oh, say yeah. it. Uh, I hate Yama those A things. Or whatever. Yama Which A. did yeah, not appear really for me on normal. So I think they're only on higher difficult. But I would have thought they would have been there on normal. They're in the second spire. They yeah. come out of the second spire. The second uh, AA gun. Or AA gun. AA gun, yeah. Yeah, along with some hunters. Did you have the hunters then on normal? I had the hunters, definitely. Okay. I would have thought I had... I was looking for them, but they weren't there. They were there, and they were annoying. I like how they explode in this game when you when you shoot them. Yeah, they do, don't they? They just, they just explode into a million pieces. <laughs> it's amazing. It makes me so happy. Yeah. Like, you annoying little shits. They are bad. Uh, I mean, they're they're. It's good to have enemy variety, but they're super annoying. Yeah, true. I, I was just as soon as I could jump in that revenant, I took that thing for pretty much as far as I could. So I was just yeah, me too. Blasting those the plasma cannon out, trying to take everything. I think I took out both hunters. I I don't think I hit one of the the drones just because they move so quickly. I tried to for yeah, a good couple minutes. Yeah, I always minutes. get out and snipe them. <laughs> but um, yeah, that that the uh, it's nice having that that vehicle, the revenant, for just kind of. I mean, you can take. I think you can pick up a warthog at some point too, instead, or you can go in with. There's ghosts. a rocket hog at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So you got. Oh yeah, we got to talk about the rocket hog. That's awesome. I love the rocket hog. I never use it in this mission. <laughs> <gasps> I love it. There's a revenant and a wraith I can take. Why would I take the rocket hog? Because it's the first thing you're given at the very start. I never take the first thing I'm given. I always look for the better things. <laughs> you can't get into the revenant like halfway through the mission. Have to no, take there's the a revenant at the very beginning. Is after there? After you get the, well, at least on heroic there is one by the first uh, AA gun. Uh, I got mine after. Mm. I think I got mine in the second area. So I must. Yeah, have where you it. pick up the plasma launcher mm-hmm. and then you, right after you kill the zealot, that's where I got yeah, it. That's where I got. I didn't know there was yeah, one, one earlier in the mission. There's one like in front of the AA gun. I just blasted it with the EMP and took it, and then I got the wraith. Later in that mission. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I think I killed it with with one the UNSC vehicle I was in, whatever it was. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, there, I know where you were. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 I was in the rocket hog at that stage. Yep. Yeah. Me too. What? Um. So then, let's see here. We go to then we we team up with with Jorge George. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have a I have a friend named Jorge. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we team up with George, and we do. I mean, I like we already talked about that kind of on rails. Um, section where you're flying along and just blowing stuff up. Can you die in that, by the way? Does anybody know? Yes, you can. You can. Yeah. There's there's a lot of AA turrets that'll blast you in the face if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. And is there a scarab so, in the background somewhere? Yes. There's a few scarabs. There's a lot and, of giant battles in yeah. the background if you look carefully. Which would have been fun to be a part of, I think. Something more of a larger scale. Oh, I mean, uh, if you notice though, shooting. when you take down the AA guns, like all of the Covenant vehicles get blasted in the background. Do they? That's cool. That's yeah. what all the big ships come in. They they're shooting down on the ground. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I know this is the first appearance of the Scarab in Reach, and it's not far for the player. It says uh, one of the kind of trivia things is that the Scarabs in the distance have a single wa- looping walking animation, but they don't move anywhere. When the long swords <laughs> bomb them, the scarabs are destroyed, but do not have a destruction animation. 
So that's kind of cool. So they just disappear. They like, just disappear. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, funny. So if you're playing for the first time, like some people may, like, can you? Why don't you guys explain a scarab? I don't, it's a giant. Ooh, like that's to be weird. Walking if you, yeah, thing. <laughs> it's a big walking battle tank that moves like a bug. Right. Big four legs. It like looks a, like a spider, but missing half its legs. Yeah, it there has like it's it's a walking tank, turret emplacement craziness. Got a big cool beam. It's an, It's also organic. Oh yeah, that's actually cool. It's made that's a good out of point. the same thing hunters are made out of. Oh, it is. It's made out of the worms. Yeah. 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 If you go back to Halo Three when you fight them oh, all they the drive time, them. if you look at the core, no. Well, I think it's made out of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's do you know no, like, you, actual. Do you know how you kill a scar- just... scarab and you you go to like its ass and you kind of shoot it? Yeah. And it has like a shield. When that shield breaks, if you look you at what, what you the... see, it's all the orange worms. It's called Malek Golo. Yeah. They're like Malek little Golo. wormies. Yep. Crazy. So that's always a fun fact. That's nuts. Um, so then we land, crash land and there's a big old ground battle right away with um, jetpacks. George on your side. Yeah, jetpacks. First, the introduction to jetpacks. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I, I put it on, but I didn't really use it at all. Did you guys use it? I just used I it use to it get a bit. the banshee. I used it to get the banshee, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what you need to do. Like, the banshee will... Do normal crazy AI banshee stuff. Try to dive bomb you, and if you boost up with your jetpack, you can actually hijack it when it comes down low enough. And oh, then... I always, uh, I always boost up, EMP it, and then take it. Oh, I never thought to do that. I just wait yeah. for the dive and come and get me, and then I just jump up and grab it. But that's kind of fun. But that's a cool moment, like taking on the spear, uh, the spire with George. I like that. I want to say there's a multiplayer map around this too. Yes, it is actually yeah. called the Spire. Oh, it yeah, is cool. in the Invasion playlist. Yes, a that's a cool map. I enjoy uh, that. A lot. I love Invasion. Invasion's so much fun. So, mm. how if you guys haven't played Invasion, it starts at the beach, like at that very front part where you crash, and then you have to do an objective, and then you get the second part of the map, and then you get the third part of the map, which is the whole Spire. So, like the Spires is is in tiers, and you have to unlock each tier of the Spire to get to the top mm-hmm. and win. It's like it scored a bomb there or something, but uh, was... it's elites versus Spartans. It was really fun back in the day. That's all I really played. Isn't that like? Is it called Rush in Battlefield? Mm, I forget. Anyway, I don't play Battlefield. <laughs> yes, there is a Battlefield mode. that's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, well, you, it's like, like objective you based. Objective, where you have to, and then the map opens you take up. over part of the map and push the enemies yeah. back further and further and right. further. Yeah, I th- I think that's Rush. Yep. So I the spire thing. Um, I remember playing it originally. I think I struggled because I was I spent too much time on the ground, like trying to clear everything out to get up the spire. This time, as soon as I saw the spire, I just like sprinted for the elevator and just went right up and then killed an elite <laughs> and then took it and then t- you know pushed the button and I was done. <laughs> so it didn't take me very long. <laughs> and that was on heroic too. So you, it's possible to pretty much sprint through a lot of this at the end. You're just speed running it. <laughs> Um, do you guys? Did you guys spend much time on the ground battles at all? Right there at the end. This time I didn't. Normally I do, but this time I was like, I'm just getting the banshee, and I literally flew straight to the top, fought the enemies at the top of the spire, yeah. ignored the ones on the bottom, yeah, and um, Same. just pretty much killed one of my deaths. And my normal playthrough was there, and uh, I totally forgot that the elite at the controls turns around and pulls a sword, and he just murdered yeah, me straight shit. away. Mm-hmm. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> mm Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of grunt fodder in this mission too. All sorts of grunts, especially right away when um, um when you f- first get to the spire area, there's tons of grunts there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else did you guys? So that's the mission. Um, what else did you guys? What else is um, of note? We, we cover all the trivia that we talked about here. Oh, looks like we missed one. Yeah, I mean, to... there's like cool things you can do. Like you can use the great nodgers secretary fire to disable a banshee at the beginning of the level, but you can't get into the banshee. Which is kind of weird. It just falls and ramps into the player. So that's just kind of a fun fact. If you've ever tried that, I haven't. Um, the Wilhelm scream is featured in the opening cinematic of this level on normal difficulty. Yeah. So just everyone probably knows what that is. I didn't know what that actually was until it, it saw it here in the script. But I know oh, I know the sound. So yeah, you do. It's I, in everything. Yeah, exactly. I'll always hear it. And I'm like, oh, that's that sound from from that other movie. And, and I figured it was like some inside Star joke. Wars. Yeah. No, it's it, it's been used in Star Wars. It's been used in all of Steven Spielberg's movies. It's in everything. Yeah. Indiana Jones. It's it, it's in everything. It's in everything. It, it's like a movie meme. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Uh, I didn't catch it though, so I'll have to I'll have to go back and see if I can. 
this time around. Um, so we are essentially setting up one of people's favorite missions from. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Spoilers: We get to fly. I think. Oh my oh, god, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. My, my least favorite character dies. It's great. Boo! Oh, man. <laughs> More spoilers. Don't do that to Aaron. <laughs> So Aaron wants to get into the next episode because oh, fucking it's gonna be a bunch this. of conspiracy theories. Yeah, oh boy. Stupid yeah, we gotta have him on that. That'll be fun. <laughs> that will be fun. Um, Can we just get Jeff on to tell him that his theories are all in the void? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Just to kill just a one word answer. Is George still alive? No. no. I'm pretty sure Jeff has already done that. <laughs> he has. I he when I went to three four three, I told Jeff, I'm like he. He's not alive, right? And he's like, no, he's not. I don't know why he keeps talking about that. <laughs> uh, Keeping the dream alive. That's right. Let's see. I'm just looking through the rest of my notes to see if there's anything I missed yeah. at all. It, it's an okay mission. I agree. I understand people think some weather kind of bummed out about it a little bit. It just kind of sets up the next mission. Uh, I did like how it did feel like you were doing something when you're doing Nightfall. You do recon an area. You plant the bomb. The next mission, you come back, you detonate the bomb. It has ramifications. It leads mm-hmm. in, it builds on to the next story, and then the um the ending where the long night of solace pretty much wipes out the Grafton and just what you do next is kind of is right. awesome. So I, I kind of love that. And it's, then it's a, the thing about it is like everything that this mission does. There's another mission that does it better. Sure. Okay. Like in Halo, you mean? In, in Reach, or in, Reach specifically. in general, because sure. like, if you want to dick around with vehicles, you go to the last mission, because the last mission has a bunch of vehicles, or you just do Long Night of Solace. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you want to fight people, there's a better mission for it. If you want to run yeah. around in vehicles, there's a better mission for it. So it sounds, if though... If you want to fly vehicles, there's a better mission. Like, I think we've had, you know, we're, what, f- five missions in now? And a lot of the mm-hmm. feedback has been, like, this mission is so-so, but overall the game is good. So essentially, buckle up. Because the game is going to get a lot better. <laughs> um, oh yeah! You know, even oh, yeah. if you have enjoyed this, like it continue, it gets real good towards the end, right? I consider like Long Night of Solace to be the turning point in this series, where it goes from "Ah, oh, this is an okay mission" to like "Whoa, what are yeah. we doing?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fun. The, the next couple episodes are going to be fun. So, all right, well, that will do it for us um, for mission debrief of tip of the spear our next episode as we've already talked about long night of solace send us your thoughts at podcast evolved at gmail.com or drop us a tweet at podcast evolved that will do it for mission debrief thanks for joining us evolved evolved evolved